I don't know about you, but I have a problem with sin. Every day, I have been a Christian pastor for well over 40 years, and I still struggle with sin every day. Well, after 40 or 50 years, you think that God's going to give up. Does he give up when we are stuck in willful sin on a daily basis? If that's you, then listen on. We're in the same boat as the Apostle Paul. Paul wrote the book of Romans. And right in the middle of that book, he opens up about his spiritual condition while he's writing the book. Now, do these verses sound like you? They sound like me. Romans 7, 17 to 19 in the NIV. Listen carefully. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it. But it is sin living in me. Verse 18. For I know that good itself doesn't dwell in me. That is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good. But I just can't carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do. But the evil I do not want to do. This is what I keep on doing. Paul was stuck in habitual, willful sin. The bad that I choose not to do, I keep doing it. And he concludes, it's no longer I that do it, but sin that lives in me, that's pushing me and pulling me around. But I still feel wretched. Look at Romans 7, 24. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Even though he can say there's something called sin and it's living inside of me. And it's pushing me to do things I don't want to do. But I just can't stop carrying it out. I feel so wretched. How Am I going to get out of this mess? Look at verse 24 and 25 for your answer. What a wretched man that I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God. O oh, wretched, thanks be to God. What? Who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. The answer is found in Jesus. When I look to me and my performance, all I see is I keep doing the things I don't want to do. I feel wretched. Get your eyes off yourself. Where is the answer? Verse 25. Thanks be to God. He's thanking God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord even though I continue to willfully fall and fail. Thanks be to God. Get your eyes off your performance and look to Jesus. What do I find when I look to Jesus while I continue to fall and fail willfully? How is the answer found in Jesus? It's in the next verse. Romans 8.1. Listen to this in the NIV. Therefore, here comes his conclusion, the struggle. I look to myself, I'm wretched. I continue to sin every day, willfully. Thanks be to God. In Jesus, where's the answer? How does Jesus fix this problem? Here it is in 8.1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You beauty, while I feel wretched, while I'm falling and failing and it's willful and I just haven't got a way out. Oh God, how wretched I am. Look how I feel when I look to myself. Thank you, Jesus. I will look to Jesus because when I look to Jesus, even though I'm falling and failing willfully on a daily basis, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ 
Jesus, while I continue to sin, I continue not to be condemned because I'm in Jesus. In my own eyes, I feel wretched and I sin willfully every day and I feel wretched. And God says, give thanks to God. Why? The answer's in Jesus. Why? There is therefore now, now while you're falling, now while you're sinning willfully, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. God never, can, ever condemns you in Jesus, even though you continue to fall and to fail. Take your eyes off your behavior and look to Jesus. There is now no condemnation for willful sin. Like Paul, while he was writing the book of Romans, while you feel wretched and while you continue to fail and to fall, like Paul, you're not condemned. Take your eyes off your performance and look to Jesus and say, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Why? How can that be? Romans 4, 8 in the Christian Standard Bible. Listen to this. Blessed is the person the Lord will never charge with sin. Blessed is the person that the Lord will never charge with sin. You fall, you fail willfully for decades, but blessed is the man who the Lord will never charge with sin. You will sin and God will never charge you for it. Therefore, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You will fall. You will fail. You will feel wretched. But therefore, there is now no condemnation to those who willfully sin. Because blessed is the man to whom the Lord will never, ever, ever charge with sin. You will sin and God will never charge you for it because you're in Jesus and he doesn't condemn you. Live with joy, folks. This is the good news of the gospel of Christ.